Today I'm going to show you how to put on a chokehold. Today specifically I'm going to go over a rear choke. So what happens with this is a lot of times is when people throw a choke on they get very excited and very stiff and they make a very big motion and it's very tense and when they do that they can see it coming. So if I go like this and I wrap around him like this there's a tension to this and a lot of times it gives him a chance to put his head down where I can't really get the choke on him the way I like it. So if I do this he can see it. Number one my tension warns him this is going to happen. What I like to do is I like to relax and snake it in. So what I want you to think of is I put it on his shoulder and I slide. And I want to touch him the whole way as I slide up through like this. So if it's like this, it just slides like this. Like that. It's just a quick motion. The nice thing about this is if you notice when I do this, this comes under his line of sight. And when it comes under his line of sight, it's very hard for him to see it. The other thing you want to know about this choke, and again, I'm going to go over this in another video, air chokes versus blood chokes. You have to be very careful with chokes. Don't screw around with them. You got to use this one at your own peril because there's a lot of lawsuits that happen with this and people get really hurt, especially if you do it wrong. So if you're going to throw this choke on, a lot of times what people do is they leave gaps in space. A good example is if I wrist locked him. If I go like this and I go like this and I leave space here, you see this space? When he goes to escape, he just pulls his elbow out and he moves. But if I cram it in there and I take all the slack out, there's nowhere for him to go. Well, ideally, I'm doing the same thing when I put on a choke. What I want to do is I don't want to just go like this and go like this. Because when I do this, there's a gap here. There's a lot of space between here and here where he can move. What I like to do is I like to shrink this. I like to come up and I want to bring this to here and just keep shrinking it and shrinking it until I take all the slack out. Like an anaconda squeezing, just little by little, just working its way to it. So once you get under the chin, it's really important when you get to here that you continue to shrink this up and shrink this up. Be careful with this. Check on your partner. Make sure he doesn't pass out. So, again, quick through. And once you get it on, you want to shrink it and shrink it and shrink it. And again, it depends on the size of his neck, right? If he's a bigger guy, it'll be less. If he's thinner, it'll be like this. But the more you take that slack out, the more effective that will be. This is Bill Coney for Straight Circle Martial Arts. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.